NBC 15 News at 11 starts now. People are tired of this political correctness. Every poll said that I'm the best leader by far. Now at 11, Donald Trump sounds off and answers questions during a town hall on live TV. Plus, hundreds are now feared dead after a powerful earthquake rocks southern Asia. And a startling new warning from the World Health Organization why you may want to cut back on eating some of your favorite meats. But you see, it still looks good. Yeah, not good news for any of us here <laughs> in Wisconsin, sorry. right? It's still, you can tell me it's bad, bad. And that, my friends, still look good. The smell on that grill. You like smell it right now. Smell a vision. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I'm Ashley Matthews. And I'm Christine Bellport. On that note, let's turn it over now to Charlie Shortino. Hi, Charlie. It is beautiful today. Calm conditions, lots of sunshine. Pretty much the only person in this entire studio that would eat that. <laughs> a hot dog? A we hot? like smelling it, though. Pork. Yeah, we don't eat pig. No. Okay, give me a turkey brat. Yeah. Tofu? Chicken that brought? wasn't turkey, baby. If it was, it wouldn't smell so good. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the weather forecast for you. Looks pretty nice, sunshine in the forecast this afternoon. You got Ben here. If it's a tofu brat, he may eat it. 59 degrees by 3 p.m., 54 at 6, back to 50 at 9 p.m. We'll see some clouds increase overnight. Eventually, we're going to get into some rain. That rain will overtake southern Wisconsin as we move through. Oh, Probably the noon, noon hour tomorrow through the afternoon, tomorrow night, even into Wednesday morning. We'll talk about that in more detail, though, coming up. Pretty nice afternoon, though, for today. Sounds good, Charlie. Thank you. New at 11, the World Health Organization is sending a warning about processed meats. It says meats such as ham and sausage can lead to colon and other cancers, and red meat could cause cancer as well. These findings are based off more than 800 studies about meat and cancer. The WHO has now classified processed meat as carcinogenic to humans in the same category as cigarettes and red meat as probably carcinogenic to humans. Also new at 11, the Racine County Courthouse has been evacuated because of a bomb threat. The courthouse will be closed until 1 p.m. while deputies search the building. An attorney who works in the courthouse says they were told to leave the courthouse around 8.30 this morning, but we're not told why. No word on if authorities have found anything suspicious. In our Decision 2016 coverage now, Donald Trump was on live TV in New Hampshire this morning. He held a packed town hall on the Today Show and took aim at Dr. Ben Carson. NBC's Tracy Potts has details now from Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump. How are you? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hi, Donald everybody. Trump live this morning with New Hampshire voters defending his brash style. People are tired of this political correctness. Insisting he's still the clear front runner. Every poll said that I'm the best leader by far. Not every poll. Two of them now place Trump second in Iowa behind Dr. Ben Carson. He cannot do with trade like I do with trade. He's very, very weak on immigration. Trump even questions Carson's faith. I mean, Seventh-day Adventist, I don't know about. Carson's response. I don't get into the mud pit, and I'm not going to be talking about people. Hillary Clinton struck back at number two Bernie Sanders. Sanders awesome. said people need to, quote, stop shouting about gun violence. When a woman speaks out, some people think it's shouting. Sanders says his comment had nothing to do not with today. women speaking out. I think what the secretary is doing there is taking words and misapplying them. While Clinton's got a commanding lead over Sanders, Donald Trump is looking over his shoulder and now in Iowa trying to catch up. And might there be more fallout from the retweet that Trump has now taken down? It seemed to insult Iowa voters. Trump blamed an intern, saying that intern has now apologized. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. Well, Trump, meantime, plans to use a school gymnasium for a campaign stop in Iowa this week, and a graduate of Sioux City's West High School is not happy about it. Francisco Valdez calls Trump a bully and says Trump is threatening the Latino community. Valdez helped start a petition calling for Trump to hold his rally elsewhere. The petition has more than 1,000 signatures, but school leaders call the rally a real opportunity. He's influencing a lot of people to hate certain like certain groups, certain groups of people. We recognize that there may be some who oppose or support any specific candidate, 
Uh, but this is a real opportunity to, to allow the educational process about the democratic process to continue. Some students are citing the school district's anti-bullying policies as a reason not to allow Trump to hold his rally at West High. New figures show a record number of campers visited Wisconsin State Parks this year. The DNR says more than 159,000 campsites were used and more than 388,000 nights of camping were recorded. Those numbers beat previous records set back in 2012. Experts say good weather and a weak economy fueled the rise in campers. Here's an NBC 15 traffic alert you should know about. A portion of Highway 19 in Dane County will be closed starting today. It will be closed between US 12 and County K. The closure will last through Friday of this week. There will be a posted detour taking you to County P and County K. In our continuing coverage, a Planned Parenthood clinic in northeastern Wisconsin is suspending its abortion services. The Appleton North Health Center stopped providing abortions two weeks ago because of a gap in staff coverage. It plans to resume in six months. Until then, the clinic is referring women seeking abortions to both Madison and Milwaukee. Well, the search is on for the Wisconsin Army veteran who's been missing now for more than a week. Courtney Windorski is asking for your help to find her husband, Bruce. He is one of several Americans who went to Syria on his own this year to fight ISIS. He returned home several months ago. Well, he was supposed to go to a veterans meeting west of Wisconsin Rapids a week ago, but he never returned. Windorski suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder and has not been on his medication he was last seen driving a Dodge Durango truck with Menominee Nation tag number A9658. Making news around the world, more than 100 people are dead, most in Afghanistan and Pakistan after a strong earthquake that was centered in northern Afghanistan. Officials say hundreds more are injured all across southern Asia. The U.S. Geological Survey says the quake had a preliminary magnitude of 7.5 and occurred at a depth of 130 miles. A top official at Pakistan's meteorological department says the quake did not cause massive destruction because the epicenter was so deep. Five people are dead after a whale-watching boat sank off the coast of Vancouver yesterday. According to Canadian authorities, 27 people were on the boat when it went down. 21 of them were rescued and one person is still missing. The Joint Rescue Coordination Center said the vessel made a May Day call on what was a clear and sunny day in the tourist community, community of Tufino, a popular destination for whale watchers on Canada's west coast. Around the nation now, a woman who drove a car into a crowd of people at an Oklahoma State University homecoming parade will make her first appearance in court today. 25-year-old Acacia Chambers reportedly killed four people and injured dozens more over the weekend. Chambers has been behind bars on suicide watch ever since, and her lawyer says he believes his client suffers from a mental illness, but he does not think she was drinking before the crash, as originally reported. Police are awaiting blood tests to determine if she was impaired by drugs or alcohol. Torrential rains continue hampering parts of the south. The remnants of Hurricane Patricia creating misery for millions from Texas all the way to Florida. Here's NBC's Janet Shamlian. The record-breaking storms that blew through Texas are moving east this morning. Torrential rain and wind now hammering parts of Louisiana and Mississippi. In Baton Rouge, 10 and a half inches of rain fell in one hour. More than five inches in New Orleans, a new one-day record. Thousands left without power. Tornado watches were up throughout the night along the Gulf Coast, with more expected today. Millions of people right now under flash flood warnings and watches that extend all the way into Florida. In Texas, they're drying out after two days of pounding wind and rain, as much as eight inches in some places. Crews in San Antonio searched for two days for a homeless man who fell into a drainage ditch at the height of the storm. But a passerby found him wandering along a road. You can call it luck, you can call it blessed, you can call it all of those things. This morning, he's okay. And dozens of stories like this. The driver of that car was barely able to make it out when the road he was on near Houston turned into a raging torrent in seconds. Were you frightened? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I was. All of this caused by the remnants of Hurricane Patricia, one of the strongest ever recorded, merging with another weather system in the U.S. 
Before that, slamming into the Mexican coast at 165 miles an hour. These exclusive pictures of the hardest hit area just now emerging. NBC correspondent Gabe Gutierrez, the only reporter to make his way in to see the damage where the historic hurricane made landfall. And that was Janet Shamlian reporting.